Welcome to a creek fishing adventure and I'm gonna try something new. You might have already can tell about how long this video is. I'm gonna try to fish for an hour and not edit anything. <laughs> See, already coughed. I'm probably gonna have a couple coughs. I don't know why I got this lingering cough. I get these coughs. So not editing, probably gonna be a lot of talking because I'll have to talk, but I have a feeling I am going to slay some fish. Now, am I going for bass? No, I wanna go for something that's gonna keep it, keep it going. Let's just go with this tiny little lure right here. I got this new rod that I'm using. It's a six, six light TFO rod. We'll talk about more stuff as we go. Got a little lure. I think we're gonna catch a ton of fish. Let's go, let's try to do it for an hour. Okay, we're stopping. That means we're, it's 12, 16. We're gonna fish to 1, 16. Alarm will go off when we're done. And uh, let's get to it. So no editing. Hopefully this goes well. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. This is the first time I've, I've always wanted to try this. I've always wanted to do it. And I'm gonna do it today. And let's get a fish. Oh, almost had one on the first cast. So we're in a creek. I'll explain and talk and probably talk too much. If you don't like hearing me talk, this is not the video for you because I'm gonna try to talk a lot if I can. And, but um, we're in a creek, urban area. I'm actually in between like parking lot over here, some businesses over here in the Chattanooga area. Oh, there's a little bass, there's a, there's a little bass. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Eat it, oh, I spooked him off. Okay, I may have to upsize to get some of these bass, but first let's just get whatever we can catch. And I have a 164th ounce jig head on a little, what is this thing called? It's a Bobby Garland, um, itty bit slab hunter. And I'm using six pound braid on this setup. Oh, there's that bass again. That's like a 12 inch bass right there. And I can cast this thing super far. And it, man, it feels fun. And there's a fish to catch fish on. Very sensitive. Plus I can see a lot of the fish in here. All right, red breast. Didn't take long. They may tear this lure up, I'm not sure. I'm just gonna walk, I'm walking upstream. This is like a little deep pool, um, kind of a deeper pool. Oh, oh, something bitten, let go. But there could be um, literally like all kinds of species. I expect there to be a bunch of just sunfish. Oh, there's another little bass. Oh, 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 oh. eat it, eat it. Oh, I thought he was gonna eat it. He came and looked at it, turned away. We'll go up through here. And I'm just, this is how I, oh. A lot of people are like, always wonder how I do a lot of stuff I'm doing. So this is what I'm doing. I just kind of walk a lot of times. Boom, fish on. Especially if it's a creek like this that I can wade. I'm just gonna walk it, keep walking, keep casting in front of me. Bluegill, two species. Just, uh, you know, these are small ones, but this, these kind of streams have so many fish that size. They're like, I always call them little nurseries. And then they could have a couple big ones. Most of the time, just missed another one. Most of the time, it's gonna be the smaller stuff that live in here. Ah, oh, yeah. And then as they grow, they'll, uh, they may move on out or they may just live in here. Ouch. Red breast right there. I hope my camera angle is good. Uh, pushing it down a little bit. That's back to it. I like to move. I'm always looking. There's a, oh, there's some, oh. There's a lot of little fish moving around in here. I'm always looking. I'm not, I'm trying not to be too loud. I mean, fish can hear you. Like when I'm walking the gravel like this, they can hear from a long ways away. But they don't really know what it is. They're just more of like, what, what's going on? I'm curious. And then I think the bigger fish are a little smarter. But I'm just gonna kind of move and cast and I'll come across ones that are aggressive and just ready to hit. Oh, there's that, I still see that about, I think I'm just like pushing him upstream. I'm getting hammered by a little. Take it.
I got a few different lures in my bag that we might go to, but this right here, I ought to get a lot of the little sunfish that are in here. Oh, nice. Oh, it came up. Saw that one hit it. Oh. I'm like getting smacked by fish on every cast. It's just, are they gonna get it in their mouth? Bluegill. Oh, what? How did I hook this guy? Oh, long ear. I hooked him weird, but really cool. I love these little fish. Super colorful fish. All right, get up there. All right, it's kind of getting a little deeper now. I thought it was. I ain't been to this. Oh, I missed him. I haven't been to this area of the creek in at least two years. So I remember there being lots of fish, but I just didn't know. I was wondering what changed. Oh, they bit my tail off. I think I'll be all right for a little bit. I'll change it in a minute. Oh, oh, getting bit. Got it. And another red breast. This one's a little fatter. Let me go ahead and change this. I want to try, I'm going to go ahead and change it out just for a little while. I had this little bit bigger lure. I think the bass in here might want something just a little bit bigger. Because I've seen a few. Whatever this thing is. What is this thing called? Swimming Minnow Blue Thunder. Uh, it's two, what size is it? Two inches. A little more bigger profile. Looks more like a little minnow that would be in here. I'm just gonna, I got a 164th ounce, like a, I think it's a trout magnet uh, hook, jig head. Not a lot of weight, don't need a lot of weight for this setup. Like I said, I got six pound braid, four pound mono uh, leader. And look at that, look at that. It's amazing the difference. Okay, maybe we found something. Large mouth, right away, a little bit bigger lure. It's like, the other one was like, eh, it's a little too small. Then he's like, okay, I'll eat that. A little large mouth. First cast with it. Oh wow, this thing's going really good. Come on. I know there's a lot of sunfish. I'm not sure how much. Oh, what was that? I thought I saw something big eat that. Sometimes you just see little shapes and shadows. And I'm always just looking to see what's happening. A lot of times you won't see a fish really. You'll just kind of see it come and just something happened. You're like, something was there. Something ate at it or. Oh, what is going on? There's definitely something biting at it. I can't tell what it is. Could be a little fish, could be a, oh, could be that right there. What is it? Oh, it's a bluegill eating at it. See, the bluegill is still eating at it. They just have a hard time getting it in their mouth. Uh, it'd be cool to find some nice bass in here. Give my little light rod a good fight. Picking up all these little, oh, oh. Come on, come on. Ah, picking up all these little fish is really fun though, because I can feel every little tap with this setup. Oh, that's better. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's not even a bass. He's a red breast. Nice red breast though. Well, average, average red breast. I'm just gonna, oh, there's that bass again. Oh, there's a couple of them right there. Oh, he was looking at my lure and another fish bit at it. I thought he was gonna eat it. Hold on, if I can get it in front of him, he might eat it. I gotta sneeze. <laughs> Sorry, no edits. 
Now I'm coughing and sneezing. Where'd that bass go? I've seen less, like, I think it's, I don't know if it's the same one, like at least a 12 inch looking largemouth. Kind of cruising around. Oh, oh, ah, uh, nope. I got something. Wow, that's a solid bligo. He actually got the whole thing in his mouth. That's not bad, it's a pretty one too. Very good. This stream, you can see I'm about knee deep and it's, there's like a little headwater up there and then probably another pool. I don't remember what's up there, but it's mostly gravel. I, and I like how flat and open it is. Ooh. There's a big sunfish right there. But it's these are little nursery areas. They're just chock full of lots of different fish and lots of oh well, you know all the other different types of bugs and turtles and different other kind of things that live in these little areas. There's just so much life. Even though they are in town and the access to this one was a little difficult. There used to be a trail. Hey, I might be able to get out there. That looks a little easier to get out if I can, if that's the same parking lot. I, I parked at this parking lot. I found this by uh, whenever I did heating and air. I, um, we, we fixed the air conditioning. Come on, fish, eat it. Gotcha. It's like two or three of them nibbling at it. We fixed some air conditioners by this, this business here. Oh, there we go, a spotted sunfish. Really cool. I like these guys. That's a fat little one too. We fixed air conditioning is here. That's where I, when I used to do air conditioning work. And I noticed the creek was right here. And I never thought it was that big because when you go over it, you go over this big, um, it's a big highway. Oh, eat that, eat that. And you don't really get a good look at it. But when we, whenever I would get up on the roof, and looked over here, I'm like, that looks a little better. And then I actually walked down to it during work one day and caught like two or three fish because I had a fish pole in my truck. And I'm like, I gotta go back to that. It's a long ear right there in front of me. There's all kinds of little fish right here. And I've fished this creek a few times, different sections of it now. And they're all in town, like not really, there's not a park or anything I don't think on them. They're not like really a fishing area, but it is absolutely loaded with fish. It's too hard not to come to a place like this and just like, hey, I'm gonna go here and catch a bunch of fish. And if I don't, I'm gonna watch a bunch of little fish. Look at little fish. There's a sucker right there. There's a bed right there or something. There's a couple beds. Sunfish beds, probably. They. Sunfish, um, some of the sunfish, they bed all through the summer almost. Ah, oh, I got that one. And that may be the one that was on the bed. I think I pulled him off of it. Oh, that's another spotted sunfish. Okay, so it's like all of a sudden we got to a couple of these. Look at the colors on that. Really cool fish. They get bigger, I know, down south and they get them and they're not, I don't think they're north of here. This may be like the most northern place they are. I don't know if anybody's caught them or catches them anywhere else. But I know as they get south, they get uh, a little more abundant and bigger. And they're real aggressive. All right, let's go. That's over this little shoals. I love streams that have shoals that divide little sections. There's a little turtle. Let's see if we can catch it. What is he doing down there? He don't even know I'm here. Where'd he go? I got him. Is that a musk turtle? I should learn some of these things. Oh, whoa, whoa. I don't know. I got, I'm trying, I, I, it's too hard for me to learn all the uh, different fish that are out there. Oh wow, he's got a long head. Okay, I'll catch you back. 
He wants to go. Little turtle right there. Oh, it's a little deep spot. There's a ton of little shiners up in here. Uh, I like streams that have different shoals that like divide little pockets. It just, I think it just creates a great environment for them and a, a better habitat where, and these little ripples through here bring in probably like some food and stuff that flow through here rather than it being steel and stuff like that. There's a tunnel. There's overflow from some parking lots there. Yeah, let's see. Oh, there's a couple fish swimming off. Oh, it definitely gets deep up there. I've already spooked off some fish though. It's, some of these fish, kind of hard to get up on them without spooking them off. That's why you want to get something light and try to cast way up there as if you can. There went that one. Oh, that's a sucker fish right there. Nothing right there? But there'd be something right there hanging off on that grass. Oh, wow, this thing casts really nice. Oh, oh. Oh, we got a little fish, fish follow it. Yeah, it definitely gets a little deeper up here. There should be some bass if we can come up on them without scaring them. Dude, that's a tiny little fish hit at it. That's a little bass right there. He ate it, he ate it. Nice. Oh, he's not bad. Not bad. Okay, so there's a little like a 10 inch bass. I like the bend of the rod. It feels pretty good right there. Good feel to it. It's thick. It's a, just a perfect little creek bass. He's on. What is this? We have another red breast. Oh, how did that guy get hooked? I wasn't even. I kind of just pulled and wasn't even trying to hook him. Oh, no, he didn't he wasn't even hook. He just had the uh, the thing, the tail of my lure. Man, I'm getting hit like crazy. This guy hit it two or three times. Oh, it's green sunfish. Another typical creek fish. That looks nice up there. That looks like it drops into a little hole or something. Come on, bass. I want to get a couple good largemouth, be fun. Oh, nice. Oh, did you see that hit? <laughs> that thing almost came out of the water for it. Is that a bass? Oh, nice fight. This is fun right here. Nice, nice. Oh, it's a good little bass. He hammered that thing. He's a, that's a 10 or 11 inch. Large mouth, good thick one. That was so cool. He came out, I think, 
it like hit the water and he exploded on it. If he's there, there's got to be a few more. And there's one. That's not a bass, I don't think. But it is a little deep spot right there. Nice bluegill. Okay. Like everything's going to be a little bigger, I think, in those little bigger holes. Tearing this thing up. Haven't had to change it yet. I may have to stick with it. I, I wasn't really planning on using it, but um, I feel like it's a perfect like size bait for like what they're what they're typically gonna, typically going to eat. I might be missing some of the littler ones, but there's a oh there's a bass right in front of me. Oh, there's enough um, enough of them that are hitting it aggressive enough that they're they're going to get hooked almost no matter what. They're just going to make themselves get hooked. What? <gasps> hey, a warmouth. New species. Wait. Yeah, that is a warmouth. I thought it was a rock bass at first. A rock bass, a warmouth, and a green sunfish can look similar. Just a matter of looking at them a lot, kind of really getting used to it. But that is a warmouth. I love how big their mouths are. They could eat about anything. Kind of dark and dingy in here now. Well, I got my glasses on, but hopefully it's showing up good. I am in like that's a it's, it's it was actually a nice cool day for summer for the summer. It's finally cooled down today. It was only like in the 80s, like 83, 84, and the humidity is so much lower today. A couple days ago, it was just so hot and humid. The fish still bite. Like these fish, they'll eat. They love, I mean, they're, they're in here eating all the time, pretty much. But for as far as just getting out, it was miserable to be out in the water. There's a little bass right there. There's a lot of fish in here. I'm surprised I haven't caught any more of these little bass. Oh, that one followed it up. Okay, there we go. I cast it over there where he was. Nice. These fish will eat, except for in the winter time. In the winter, you can't catch them. Like, but as soon as it gets warm and the hotter it gets, the more active they get. But they stay in the shade. Look how shaded this place is. And this is why another reason I enjoy the streams. We are like totally covered in shade all the way through here. That keeps it, it keeps these streams so much cooler. Keeps these fish, I think, just probably stay more aggressive and just happier. Where they don't have to try to get out of the sun all the time, like in the lakes and stuff. Those pipes up there have to have some fish hanging in them or something. Getting hit by something. Eat it. I watched this little fish eat it, but he was too small to get the whole thing in his mouth. This is a this is actually a really nice deep hole. It's deeper than I thought. Maybe three foot deep or more in there. Let's see how we want to get through this. Let's toss up in that tunnel. There's got to be something in there, right? How is there nothing in that tunnel? Maybe I wasn't throwing far enough. Nothing. You're telling me nothing is up in there just waiting to club or something. Oh, 
Well, felt like a little bitty fish. All right, it's got a little bit, a little bit of a deep hole here, but I can we get over. Actually, the other side looks easier to cross. I don't want to get like waist deep today. I don't have to take everything out of my pockets, but I don't think I'm going to have to. And um, I'm just wearing sh regular shorts and t-shirt. And actually just got tennis shoes on today because I broke my wading shoes. Yeah, I, I used them so much um, this summer, I, I broke them. I actually left them out in the sun too and it kind of dried them out weird. And so I'm just wearing regular tennis shoes and just walking through and getting hit, but somehow can't hook some of these little fish. Oh, saw some go by. This one is not a really tough stream to walk. Come on, fish. Eat that, eat that. Ooh, you're right there, you're right there, you're right there. Eat it, eat it. I got this little bit large mouth, like bear, he's like eyeballing it, sorta. Nah, he wouldn't eat it. I had probably four or five hits. Every time I'm jerking, it's because there's like fish just hammering at it, but they're just not getting a hold of it. So I'm just kind of putting a light little light jerk into it just to see if they have it in their mouth. If not, I want to just yank too hard and um, tear my lure up every time. So cool walking through these areas. I'm just looking, watching little fish swim around. I don't know what those are. Those maybe that's a northern hog sucker. Those other ones, I, a lot of them I'm seeing, maybe red horse. I don't. And maybe what they are. I think I won't have to put a new plastic on. Let me change this out before I hit this next hole here because this looks good. We got a little bit of sun coming down in this hole. I can't tell how deep it is over there, but we definitely have some shade over there. Let me put another swimming minnow because that was seems to be just the right lure to use. And like I said, like I think a lot of people also use too heavy of um, too heavy of jig heads in streams. A 164th ounce is pretty light. You can go lighter. I mean, some people use lighter. 132nd ounce, if I'm doing this, 132nd is, is about as heavy as I want to go. Um, a 116th ounce is a pretty common size, and most people think that's, you know, pretty light. But when you're throwing it into a foot of water, and it, boom, just hammers, and just, it just drops and hits the bottom immediately, then... Oh, my phone's going off. Hold on. I don't know who that was. Uh, get back to what I was saying. Oh. When it, I, I feel like a lure, if you don't give it action to fall in some of these streams, you won't get as many bites. Goodness. Uh, right now, I'm not having no trouble getting bites. But if you were using too heavy a line, you can't cast this little lure. Like I'm throwing this thing way up in front of me. If you can't do that, oh, there's some fish. Come on. Got one. And what is that? A long ear. If you can't get it up there far enough, you might it might be the difference that you catching two fish or twenty fish. And so always try to go light. Try to, especially if you want to target all these little fish or you're fishing clear water. Get it out there, get it way up in front of you. No matter if you see anything up there or not, no matter if you know it's deep or not, just throw it way out there. You'll be surprised what comes out and hits it. Like that right there. It's a 
really pretty red breast. Oh, trying to take a look at you. Hmm. Oh, that's a bridge up there. I don't know if I've ever been to that bridge. Let's see what our timer is. Hey, we're 30 minutes in. Wow. So if you're at the 30 minute mark, let me know if it feels like it's been a long video. Let me know if you plan on staying. Maybe you had enough. Is there anybody even watching at this point right here? Dude, I'm, it's so fun. I kept saying the same things over and over again, but I like this kind of stuff. It's exciting to me. All the different fish that nibble at my lure. I get, oh, I oh, thought I had that one. I get bite after bite after bite. Every cast, I'm, something is biting at it. I haven't seen any of the largemouth up this way. I don't know how the creek changes or what. We might try to go, oh, what was that? Green sunfish. Oh, there's a little bitty largemouth. Hold on. Oh, I scared him off now. There's a little bitty one that came over. We may try to go up for a little while and try to explore some new areas, but even in this creek, I've been to it just a few times, caught, all, caught lots of different species out here. I know it has lots of fish, lots of species, but I still don't really know what could be in here. I've only done it a couple times. There could be a section like a mile up that's just this big deep hole and it's just loaded with fish. There could be some section, There's I, I've done most of the lower section of it and there's lots of good fish in certain areas. But that's, uh, I don't know, exploring, exploring's fun. Careful where you go, oh, over there, there's some fish over there. Can I get it? Yeah, they came over and got it. I saw them. Greeny. Okay, okay. What was that? Oh, now well, he's all spooked. I think it's a red breast right there. I thought I'd be getting some bites out of this little spot right here. Like a little narrow, a little bit deeper, We've got some current. Nothing sitting there ready to eat. Oh, well, that's a little one. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, that was a little bass. How'd I miss him? Okay, I might, might be able to get him. I don't know. He just pulled my pants down on my lure. What? Well, that felt like a good fish. I missed him too. I've been jerking too soon on it. Well, I guess I ain't gonna get these guys. These little shallow spots with real shallow current. That's where the these shiners are. I think they're shiners. Maybe chubs. I don't know what those are right there. But there's just a bunch of them right here. Then there's little baby ones right there. Now, I know you can see those. I think they're right in the sun. 
Uh, that's a, where are those? I think they're maybe chubs. Those may be little creek chubs. with some other stuff mixed in. But yeah, the bottom of this creek is mostly rock. It's uh, definitely interesting. It's an easy walking one. Wish there was more access on it, but then probably wouldn't catch as many fish, but you know how it is. That's the way it goes. It's either way out in the country or sometimes in the middle of town. You gotta find those areas where it's just not as pressured. And you go there and catch stuff or some of those areas where people aren't taking all the fish out of them. Which this kind of stream, if somebody took all the fish, you would repopulate pretty fast. But a lot of the bigger fish might not be back for a while. Oh, this looks good. This looks juicy. Oh, oh, I'm getting hammered. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm watching these little fish like they're not, they're like half the size of my lure and they're trying to eat it. They're coming out of that grass right there. What are those things? Some kind of little, I don't know what those were. Oh, how did I miss that? Oh, come on, bass, eat it. There's this little bass, he just nibbled at it. So far, the size of the fish have been getting a little bit smaller. That's cool, it's a bunch of them right there. Hey, you're getting a little bit of wind here. But at any, maybe getting a little bit small, smaller for the most part. But at any point, there could be like a deep hole that's holding you know, some bigger ones. And these, these streams change so much. These, especially this like gravel or rock, it could just be a, a hole. It just comes out of nowhere that you're not expecting. That's what I'm always looking for. I'm always looking for like, I just uh, come across a spot. You're like, whoa, where did that big deep hole come from? And you know the fish are living there. All right, time for, I haven't caught a fish in a, at least three or four minutes. Get lots of little bites. There's a bunch of little ones. Come on. There's a lot of little ones biting it right there. Under the bridge, maybe a, I like under the bridge just because um, a lot of times there's some little, oh yeah. Oh, how did he come off? My line was twisted up. That's, what is going on with my rod here? How is my line twisted? I set the hook on that little bass and somehow he came off. I saw him come out of the grass. I had a chance for that one. I messed it up somehow.
All right, let's. Yeah, there's that little, he's like a little six inch bass. Let's get up here. Hopefully this next hole's got some hungry fish. Those little, every, every one of these little shellus busts are just fish. They just, they just downsize. The smaller the water, the smaller the little school of fish is. Yeah, there's a little bit of water under the bridge. There might be something here. Make a couple casts for a, oh, oh, I see one, I see one, I see one. Oh, I spooked him off somehow. That was a big sunfish, I think. What? Somehow it's picked off. I got, oh, I got one. What? This baby just, oh, it came off. That's, uh, he would've been the smallest fish today. Come on, there's fish under here. Why are they not hitting? Except for the tiny ones. The tiny ones always want to hit. Okay, a couple more casts and we'll move on up. There we go, is that one? I'm getting hammered by stuff, but it's just little. Yeah, just little green sunfish. I saw some. Does he even have it hooked? He's not even hooked. Bit my tail off. I saw some decent, I think they were big green sunfish or something. But, did I catch them? No. Go with another one. I'm just whenever I go into these bridges, there's the it's like a I mean it's a real thing. There's there's homeless people everywhere. You know, not that they're gonna bother you, but you just don't know. Sometimes they're mentally unstable or or in a desperate situation. So but that's that's the thing. I, I'm more I'm probably more afraid of people when I go out in these backwoods country areas because there's nobody around and if you do see somebody i don't know sometimes they they're out there trying to steal stuff or they're just but you know what you got risks everything you do in life you need to be cautious be careful oh just that. be careful what you do be aware of your surroundings Come on, how am I not gonna get a fish out of this area? Oh, good, I'm getting bites. It's not that deep. I thought it was deeper than it was. Oh. Oh, look at that. They're just, I got two little guys just taking turns biting at it. Got one of them. And it's a green sunfish, it's a little bigger mouth. Let's keep on checking. Hmm, no bass right here. All right. We've got to get a few more bass in. Kind of would like to catch a good one, but also might go back and downsize a little bit if I don't see any I might throw in a little bit smaller lure ouch oh, thought that was a snake but it's not I haven't seen a snake yet which is surprising 
Thought there'd be, oh, this hole looks a lot deeper. Thought there'd be several snakes. Let me get ready to cast. I want to start casting in there way before the fish, like, uh, no, I'm here. Oh, my thing's not, my thing's not spinning right, but I got a fish following. I just nibbled at it. What's going on with this thing? It's going crazy. Oh. Some sunfish right there. What is that? It's a well, this back of the pool's got a lot of little bait fish. Oh, there's a bass right there. How did he come there? Or how did he get there? And I didn't know it. He's looking at. It. He's looking at. It. Come on. I thought he was gonna get it. He didn't. Come on, fish, eat it nibbling at it Good. biting and biting <gasps> oh eat it come on come on come on I see a nice fish looking at it okay there's some fish in this hole. That's a solid fish, and he wouldn't eat it. I wonder if we have anything else to throw in there. What else do we got to use today? I couldn't believe that fish wouldn't eat it. Let me throw in something else. Maybe this section up here, they want something different. Got my little sling pack, and I got a couple different lures in here. What did I bring? Hmm, hmm, that one, that one. Ooh, there it is. That's what we're going with. Pile diver. Pile diver thread thin shad. I've had good luck with these getting uh, different, especially bass and stuff like that, getting them to bite. Got some good little legs to it. I don't know, some of these fish in here have been a little picky and some of them will just hit anything. Let's see how the pile diver will do. Looks more, I don't know, looks more creature-ish. Looks like a, you know, some kind of just creature bug thing and ain't gotta do a lot, just gotta twitch it kinda. Let it sink like a, a crawdad or a little bug that fell out of the tree. Yes! I got a good fish, but I don't know what it is. Got a red breast, okay. I thought it would got I thought that bass hit it. Let go, let go, let go. Don't break. Okay, one for the pile diver. something thought I had him nope bit at it if you do this type of fishing um, you don't have to use like there's not a brand I don't know one brand that like has a domination over all the other brands or something there's 
get little lures that look like little creatures or bugs or tiny little swim baits. It's just something that these fish would normally eat. You just take a handful of them and go throw them. Maybe they'll, they might eat them all. There might be one that works a lot better than the other ones. Oh yeah. What is, oh. I'm not setting the hook really hard. So I may lose a couple of fish. That was a little bass though. Okay. This hole looks, see this hole here? We've come up. Now this hole looks really big and long. I feel like this could have some good fish. Oh, what is that? Stay on there, stay on there. Nice, that's what we're looking for. We're back on the bass. Oh, and there you go, buddy. So we got some bass living in this hole, several more of them. And I just saw something like, I saw like a, something swoop at my lure. And I dropped it in over there. I thought there was some more stuff in there. Eat it. There's some fish there. Come on. I can't tell what they're doing. Oh, there's two or three fish right there on it. Eat it. Yeah, there's there's several little bass that were following it. They may have been nibbling at it. I got I gotta just go ahead and eat the take the whole thing. This little hole's got some large mouth in it. Or this big hole. This is a, it's a better looking deep hole. Oh, that felt like a good fish. It came off. Oh, ooh. there's several bass right there. I see them. I think that's the ones that were. Oh, there's like, oh, there's a little, like a little pack of them right here. Oh, why won't they eat the thing? They like just, they bite it and they're letting go. Come on, come on. Maybe I need a bigger lure to get these guys. Where'd those little bass go? Oh, they're right beside me. Oh, they came up on it like they were going to hit it. Oh, they're right in front of me. There's one, two, three. Oh my. I twitched it, got him to hit it. I knew he was going to spit it out. I tried to start set the hook real quick and lost him. These guys aren't just committing to it all. Oh, that one did. <laughs> aren't committing to it all the way, except for this one. And we have, let's see. A real pretty warm mouth. He's got some kind of scar on that side of him. Ouch. All right. We are still getting a mixture of fish through here. I'm gonna go over my setup again. So I'm using a 6.6 um, six Temple Fork uh, TFO rod. This is a trout panfish series. I just got it in um, two days ago. It's $99. I've been wanting to try some of their stuff out. I know they make stuff kind of geared towards, they make a lot of stuff that are Oh, towards this type of fishing where, oh, I got you. What is, and a red breast. And so I looked on there and I got a bunch of friends that use it, or they'll have their stuff and they love it. Fly rods and different rods. <coughs> so I saw the 6.6, six, $99. I was like, that ought to be a good one. It's a light, fast action, which I love the lights. That's like my thing for, I don't really like, I don't usually go with the ultralight stuff 
the light is just a little it's pretty close to the same but it's just a little bit you know stiffer and it's a fast action so it bends up top pretty good and it is perfect for these i can still throw tiny little lures on it like i can still i can throw trap magnet stuff that's why i just can kind of compare things to a little trap magnet stuff i can throw those all day on this and what i'm throwing today is not much bigger than that pretty much the same thing um i have six it's getting deep over here i got a six pound braid it's called uh, j braid i think that's what it's called and it's there's six pound it's stuff is is really smooth and I, I can sling stuff out so effortlessly it just goes <coughs> oh 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 my goodness i missed that fish twice the bass i got him that time <laughs> i had to twitch it to get him to strike at it now i'm using um a leader line so i got about five or six foot of this is just four pound mono and you can it's a nice little bass you can use a you, i could probably go with it you know if i want to go with the six i could go with the six but four pound is plenty enough strength to what i'm going to be using this thing for and as far as mono or fluorocarbon just do what you want to do i got a lot of them with fluorocarbon on it i got some with mono on it oh another good bass dude oh where did he come from these little bass fight so hard it's like it's crazy how they can get off you know i don't as far as the fish seeing the line this type of fishing most of the time i don't i mean i doubt these fish have ever been caught before most of these oh some little bass right on me and if they have it's not like they get fished for all the time <laughs> dude they're hammering this thing i got little bass all around me and they are they're hitting it when i jerk it or like i'm gonna just start reeling stuff in study come on as far as the line if you want to use floor carbon because you think the fish can't see it they definitely can't see it as good now when the fish see a line do they actually know what it is these fish i doubt it the fish i'm going for if you're if you're going for maybe trout or you're fishing for some really hard fish to catch that are just used to seeing a lot of stuff then floor carbon can make a big difference and these areas doesn't make much difference i could i could reel this whole thing up with four pound mono and it would be fine and i would probably be catching the same fish but i think i can i can cast further with the six pound braid and i love the way it feels that is to me that's that's one of the things I, i've gone to braid on about everything and now i'm starting to get on get to it on a lot of my lighter ultralight style stuff and when you say ultralight a light ultralight is about you know same same thing pretty much when you're talking ultralight and a lot of times ultralight is like the talking about how light the lure is too like this the, the lure i'm throwing is an ultralight lure wow that's deep right here this is the deepest spot it's been the whole stream let me get around this tree so i can get up here and cast probably spooked off some fish but no wonder there were so many bass in this hole there's a lot of water in here oh man there's a good looking area over here probably spooked off a few fish for sure but sometimes you gotta do that just to get to some areas and i got a fish right there red breast a lot about this type of fishing is making the right cast being ready for them to bite and just putting a little effort into it where learning how to cast um you know i can like sling that sling that up there and that's why i got that fish if i had walked up to make an easy cast he probably would have spooked off green sunfish you know i'm catching a way more fish just because i can throw the lure out there away from it 
Dude, this hole is looking good. This is, um, how many fish have we, oh, this one. I wonder how many fish we've caught. As far as choosing the reel, or, or even the whole rod and reel setup and all, just buy something to start with that's an ultralight or a light, four pound line, size-ish, some 164th ounce lures. Uh oh there's a, hold on. Wow, how has it been an hour already? Okay, well, we're gonna fish up here. We're not stopping. I got a, I keep emails from all kinds of people. Um, let's fish this little hole and we'll be done. If you want to stay, then stay. I don't know. I can't tell you what to do. You could watch. You could not watch. But if you are getting, wanting to do ultralight fishing and you're really struggling, I mean, all you got to do is watch some lures, uh, watch some videos. I've been watching, I'm going to fish with online outdoorsmen here pretty soon. I don't know when this video is coming out, but, um, he, he inspires me to do more ultralight fishing than I even do and like get back into lighter stuff because he loves it. It's so fun to play around with these types of things. And um, there's, and he makes so many videos on rods and reels and line and lures and how do you know what size to use for this? How do you know what to do? You, it's everything is gonna be up to your own preference most of the time. What do you like? Find something to start with, see how it is, see what you can improve on it. Oh, there's a bass. Let me get this bass right here. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no. He looked up, saw it, ate it. I don't think I got a good hook set on him. Let's see if I can get it again. Get out there and try things. Figure it out. Go find a stream. Go to a lake. Go fish off the bank. I could... I should do it. I need to do a video fishing off the bank off of a lake. I, I don't do that a lot, but... There's so many little fish and some of those, you'll find a little place on a bank and it could be loaded with fish. You can go catch 50 fish in an hour. Just throwing a little, little small lure around. Come on, there's gotta be something up here. Oh, I missed them. Well, I thought I was gonna end it off with a couple more fish. I've already missed like three decent little fish. They are just wanting to eat the thing a little piece by piece instead of swallow it. Oh, oh, eat it, eat it. Why won't they eat it? I'll get to a certain area where they just clobber a lure. And then there's certain areas where they're like, eh, I'll just take a leg. Oh, there's another hole up here. Yeah, I've never been up here. Oh. I got him. Oh, he's got me hung up. Oh, no, it came off. I thought I had the fish. All right, we're going to catch enough. Another fish before we end the video. We have to go over the time limit and we've already gone over. Oh, this is a cool looking little hole here. This is kind of place there. Um, I like this overhanging stuff. It can be hard to fish. But this overhanging stuff on the left over here, this is where the ambush bigger ones will be at. Just sitting in there waiting for something to fall in. Oh, there's a bass. How did he not come out and get that? All right, yeah, see, there's a little bass, right? Oh my goodness, come on, come on, come on. Got it. <laughs> I missed him, twitched it, twitched it. These guys want something to chase. And that's how largemouth are sometimes. 
they um you might not be catching them you might see them but they sometimes they want something to chase to get like try to run away and then they'll grab it he's got a couple scars on him is that gonna be the last fish no it's too good this is too good and this is what happens when you get into this light action stuff sometimes you're just you're just going along catching fish after fish and just you get addicted to catching fish and just the fun of it and the fish i'm catching are they big no but they're giants for this creek and for what is in here they're the they're the big fish the sun's coming out it's getting a little hot in here all right i'm gonna catch at least a couple more large mouth i can feel it This hole feels a little weird. Like, where's all the fish at in this one? And it looks a lot deeper. And when you start exploring, if you get into this and you start getting into um, enjoying it, then you like, you know what, this is fine. That's how an hour goes by without you hardly noticing. And then you're like, I can't stop. I gotta go explore more because I wanna know what's around that next bend. I wanna know what that next hole looks like. And then you're like, what if there is uh i got a little guy hitting it what if there is like a three pound largemouth sitting in here it could easily be in here or a giant bluegill or like your that's what that's cool is like some of these sunfish that live in these holes are just you'll be fishing all of a sudden there's a monster that lives in there that he's lived there his whole life oh that's a good cast right there and there's a bunch of sunfish that nibbled at it. Okay, come on fish. I know you're in here. There's a lot of fish in here. Dude, this creek is getting more and more interesting. I feel like it's getting... These are some bigger deep holes. A bunch of big old, oh, what are those? Dude, there's so many bluegill right there. Look at all those bluegill. There's just like, there's like 20 of them came down. They're right in front of me. I gotta get one of the bigger ones to bite. There's, they're hammering it. What? That's so weird. Where'd that little bass go? I saw a little bass come in. See, things like that. There's so, so many weird things, interesting things you'll see at a creek. Like, why are all these bluegill hanging out together? Like, dude, they're like, they're hammering. I'm getting, I'm getting bite after bite. But I, but I can't get them hooked. But they were all just like in a pack together. Come on. There he is. It's a little bitty bass coming after it. Too little. Oh, that's a green sunfish. Uh, we're going to go back to one more lure. We're going to change one more lure before we get down. I'm going to catch a few more fish. Oh, there's um, what's that? It's a bed over there. I think it's a long ear on a bed. We open up this thing. This is what I started with. We're going back to it. I think I'll catch a couple more. This, I can't stop. I hate 
I wanted to stop the video. I guess I could stop it and then just go fish myself without the video, but I want to end the video and want to head back. <laughs> um, but I can't. Not just yet. Let me stick this little lure. This tiny little swim bait. On this little 164 ounce jig head. Let's get a couple more fish. Oh, and I'm in the tree. Hey, and I'm out of the tree. And we had a hit. Come on, fish. Okay. All right, I had to downsize. Oh, wow. That may be the color, the most colorful fish we've caught. Look at that long ear. See, that's what's cool. That's a tiny little fish. That'd be a perfect aquarium fish. Tiny little fish. That's just so cool to see. Dude, this is so weird looking. It's like a bluish hole up here. Is there another spring coming into it? That's why you so hard for me to stop. All right, let's see if I can, oh, there's, a, there's another creek coming in right there. Oh, how am I missing these fish? Am I setting the hook too hard? Or are they just not really taking it? That was a, that was, oh, I see them now. There's a bass sitting in that little, it's like a little, I can tell the hole looks different. And there's a fish. Holy cow! I had a bass hit at this right here. Yes. See, why, you know, now you know why I can't stop exploring. You just don't know what you're gonna come across. Green sunfish. We had a bass come out and bite at the green sunfish. Okay, back to back fish. Just going a little bit further, bluegill. Because they're in this, there's like a little deep pocket. I bet the water's a little bit cooler right there. We'll go look at that. This will be our ending spot. Even though, just look up that way. I mean, oh, my shoulder's getting a little tired from all this casting, I think. And carrying a little bag. Bag is not that heavy, but for some reason my shoulder's getting a little tired. And another one. Oh my goodness. Now, oh wow. That's incredible. I don't know if I've seen a more colored up long ear than that one right there. Just incredible. What else is in that hole? All of a sudden I've come to this hole and I've got three fish in a row. And I lost one. And four. Are you serious? Four fish, four species. One spot right there. Warmouth. <laughs> what a way to end it. See, this is why you push on a little bit further. Like, well, we push on a little bit further. These are like the most colorful ones too. Wish I was taking the pictures. I should have been taking pictures. Too late now, I didn't take pictures. Get back in there. Get in there, little guy. There you go. Four for four. Four different species. I'm just letting that lure sink real slow. I don't even see the fish. Oh, there's a little bite. And missed a, a little one bite it. Let a little one bite it. I got all the bigger ones out of there. Oh, there's a little bass. Oh, okay, I see those bass. 
they're sitting right there. There's two of them that I see. Let's see if we can get a large mouth. looking at me. Where was that? Some bug making a noise up here. Isn't that interesting? So see this, we got a little creek coming in to the creek and right where they're hanging out at, that's where all those fish were. There's like a little deep pocket right there. There's some fish down in there. It's funny how they're all sitting in that little deep pocket right here. And I wonder, I wonder if the water's a little cooler. It looks a little different. It's like a little dingier. But then look back up this way and we got so much more water to fish. Like, all right, couple casts, couple casts, that's it. Getting bites, eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, there's a bass, there's a, eat a bass. Dude, there's little bass all over the place. They're just like roaming around, these little five, six inch bass. Nice pick whenever you like, they like look out, they look over and like, what is that? Something ain't right. Oh, man, I just lost something right there. Is that, all right, let me see if I can get this last fish. Oh, this looks too good. This looks endless. You can just go, go, go. Catch fish, catch fish, catch fish. Okay, this is gonna do it. Oh, well, he came off, so they can't do it. Let's go, let's get something out of this creek right here, this little bitty creek. I wanna throw up in there. Oh, there's a little bass right there. So, dude, there's all kinds of little bitty fish in there. It's so cool looking. Oh, wow. Good cast or bad cast? Come on. There's so many little fish down there, it's so cool. Eat it. They're like nibbling at it. There's a little a little deep hole up there. All right, this is it. For real this time. If you're waiting for the video to end, it's coming soon. After I cast up it. Oh, come on. I can do a better cast than that. This is where casting is really gonna be critical. I wanna hit that hole right there. Got trees over here. I can't, I can't, I can't backhand over here. I have to backhand sideways right here can't go up top we gotta get underneath these trees boom and I'm getting bites and got one and that's how you catch more fish smaller lures lighter line cast further and make better casts hey long ear i mean not long ear uh what is that red red breast boom end it off right there All right, can you ever off?